And I think many of us involved in this um, committee have worked for years long and hard to um, take the horrific thing that happened to you and the kind of environment that you had to tolerate as a member of the armed services fighting for our nation. And we're working as hard as we can and as fast as we can to eradicate military sexual assault from this military. And I just wanted to thank you for what you do and let you know that we are behind you and we're working every day to make sure that we together are gonna be able to say that we eradicated this and that it's a safe place to serve. So I'm so sorry for what you've had to endure, but your bravery coming here today does make a difference and we are taking steps forward and you help make that happen. So thank you. Thank you. My hope is that it will help the veterans that are coming home from the long bouts of war that we've been in so that they can get better care than I have. They absolutely Thank will. Thanks for your bravery. Uh, Ms. Custer, you have a question? Yes, thank you. I just want to add to thanking you. Um, this, this is a bipartisan issue that we've worked very closely on and will continue to, and I appreciate you coming forward. Um, my question for Mr. Barr, and, and this is just more of a conundrum that we have on this committee, is if we uh, use the option of outside care, which makes a great deal of sense to me, I'm in a rural area, there are times when you can't see the providers you need, will we run the risk of this issue not being um, taken seriously and being front and center going forward within the VA. That's my concern. I'm afraid that if we turn our attention away, that, I mean, this is something Ms. Valorsky and I have been working on, that we have a large group of people, we've passed some pieces of legislation. I hesitate to let the VA off the hook, and that, that's my question. I, I appreciate my friend and the gentle lady's question, and, and what I have found and discovered is that the the simple introduction of this legislation that would empower victims and empower survivors of MST to uh, uh, choose their own uh, care, to, to find that specialized care that they need, actually is the, the, the feature, the reform feature that holds the VA accountable and actually gets the VA to do those things. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, um, and we've seen it in our own VA right in central Kentucky. The, the fact that we introduced this legislation has resulted in, in response from the VA in terms of some hiring decisions and some reforms internally uh, that have uh, offered um, uh, new veterans uh, those, uh, those services that they need, they need within the VA. But regardless of those reforms and those improvements that we've seen, we still see a need for that immediate choice to ultimately give the veteran the power over his or her care. And so they can decide, the therapist, the psychologist, the care provider that they deem to be most suitable for their particular situation. Great, thank you very much. And I'll look into working with you on that, and I appreciate it. Um, and then I just want 